it's not the really proper way to do, but it works. You know? And uh, uh, this is an example of what I was saying before. So there are no structures on the song. I started with a rock brief, and then I went to kind of jazzy stuff, and then went back to rock. So I do whatever. I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. Some melodies? Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. I mean, I can see yeah. you yeah. playing. <laughs> and the guitar looks good. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, are, what are the main um, arpeggio structures you use when you play the sweeping stuff? Ah, okay, yeah. Are they always the uh, same or different? Yeah, actually, um, I use a lot um, trying to, oh, how do you say, blend those techniques. The, the normal sweep is like, Major, so just, major. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is major for yeah. example. The yeah. technique is just uh, you have to sweep, that's the name. Mm -hmm. Something like this. Don't play like yeah. the savory notes, but you have to go mm -hmm. down with the hand. And of course, with the left hand, you have to follow the, the right hand. Something like that. And of course, when you can put it in the playing, like uh, for example, I, I use legato and, and sweep sometimes. And then I use legato. And then I use the sweep for changing the, um, okay. the string. So, yeah, and but the, the technique comes from, from this, you know, when I practice a lot. It's very slow. And then you can combine technique well like with tapping. Okay. The, uh, the ice notes, which you do from the Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's the twenty second fret of yeah, okay. D. <laughs> <It's a> D. <laughs> Yeah, do the whole major arpeggio. For example, now we are in D major. No? So you can extend the, the arpeggio with the right hand, and basically. And then you can do some tricks like. So that, that was in the, in the song. So it's kind of. Trying to mix all the technique. I don't like to use only one technique. Maybe when you study, yeah, of course, you can do a lot of uh, time, like hours, sometimes. But then when you start playing and then trying to do your stuff, mm -hmm. always try to combine everything, you know, all the. Also, you can I use a lot of uh, also the finger, like. Combine. Uh -huh. Yeah, alternate the picking with the right hand finger. It's nice, but I always like the, the sound of the finger. It's more always snapping. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't even play with the pick. It looks like, but yeah. yeah. It looks like. I'm gonna do another song from always from the first album. It's like bluesy almost. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Stevie Wong. With yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking about him when I had the yeah. something. Yeah, I'm trying to put all the influence I have, you mm -hmm. know, in one style, trying to create my own style as well. So mm -hmm. because that's the most important thing. And um, yeah, but yeah, I don't know why I went to that blue stuff in these songs, but it worked somehow. Mm -hmm. so also, with the other guys, we were. In a rehearsal mm -hmm. room, I had my idea. I say, guys, could we try to make this transition work because it comes from rock to blues? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the guys are very, I was saying before, very versatile, so they helped me to improve the, the, the part. Yeah. And, and also, here, for example, I use a lot of that technique, I will say. <laughs> Stuff like that. I use the old. I use a lot in the pentatonic, especially when I want to play some blues stuff, uh, like Stereo Vogue. He, he, he doesn't play with it a lot, yeah, yeah. but it's more. He's more playing with picking. But I don't know. I find easy for me to to play with a finger. It's what it gives me that that kind of sound immediately. So um, sometimes you have to do what it's easy for, for you, you know, so you need to um, underline your uh, good aspect of your playing, you know, instead mm -hmm. of do something too difficult for you. Yeah. Uh, that's easier for me. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll play uh, another ballad, always from the first album. How many new songs do you have right now? Uh, here, four songs, but actually I've Compose seven songs now. Okay. We still have to do two, three more songs. I have the idea, ideas. Yeah, sometimes I record the ideas on the iPhone. One, three. And then I envelope the ideas in studio or here, for example, and just record some. And, and how do you record songs? Do you play the whole song or step by step? Ah, okay. Parts? I do step by step, yeah. yeah. And then the other guys play listen. their instruments after you yeah, 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 I usually give, for example, those backing tracks that are recorded, they are the guys playing behind me, you know, yeah. the, the one just played. But for example, mm -hmm. the first songs that I play, that's only a program, programmed. Like, this, is, this drum is a fake drum. I was like, yeah. It's not really yeah, it sounds like it. Right? <laughs> then you have to be careful, you know, mm -hmm. you have to think like a drum. I play some drums, so that helps a lot, so mm -hmm. I know what, mm -hmm. uh, how it works. So, mm -hmm. uh, also dynamics, you know, so, mm, that's very important. It sounds real because I, I spend a lot of time, like hours, mm -hmm. to do that, you know, it's not like, okay, that's drum. We would have needed that stuff when I was young, you know. Yeah, you know, so we, yeah, yeah. We were ta just yeah. talking about that yeah. before you came. We were talking, yeah, I can do the, you know, Check master the class here, the like this. Band. Yeah, you can, have your own band. you can have a vision of the song immediately, yeah. you know, yeah. in the studio, while composing the riff. Before yeah. you are, ah, can I some riff? Are you available? No, shit, that's not how we do that. Today it goes down. Next right. week. Sounds ready. ready. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Or oh, record on a cassette. Yeah. <laughs> the riff on a cassette. We had some ghetto blasters in the practice room. Going yeah, like yeah, yeah, no, yeah. And then maybe the drummer doesn't doesn't play the the thing you had in your head that you start. <laughs> Get crazy and. Actually, I'm gonna play another song because I. I think young young people cannot imagine what it was. No, right. Twenty years I think, ago. I just I think um, I leave the transition because I I, rec I remember when I was. Younger teenager, I was recording a riff and a cassette. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but luckily the computer was about you know to taking off, and uh, so our, by my father bought me a computer and the first recording stuff actually cracked because <laughs> I had it. I didn't know how to use it. And when the cassette broke, you use a pencil. Oh yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> and then Basically. probably you record all your riffs yeah. there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hey, <I'm> <laughs> 